All right, here we go. Let's get into the questions, everybody. Um, being vote shamed. All right, before I read this, if you don't tell people who you're voting for, there's no way to be shamed. All right, I, I want to start a movement where somebody asks you who you're voting for. You, you should say, you should just tell them that that's rude. I don't answer rude questions like that. How dare you? How about you just go, how dare you? How dare you? What, are you taking a fucking survey? All right. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I am. Oh, really? Is my vote in your little circle of the fucking world going to make you have a good prediction of who's going to win or lose? Shut the fuck up. All right. Being vote shamed. Dear Billy, the wise, wise ass. Uh, this, <laughs> this is the first election. I like that. If I was a wrestler, that's, that's what I would, if I was a manager. Billy the Wise, wise ass. Uh, This is the first election I'm able to vote in. Congratulations. I'm 20 years old, and I've been listening to you since I was 13. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I would load your podcast onto an iPod and listen on the bus to school. I really appreciate you not regurgitating everything I heard elsewhere in my life. You're a renaissance man, whether you like it or not. Uh, I got these young kids fooled. Uh, uh, You know, I appreciate that, you know. You live a little more life and be like, nah, this is just this sort of the loud guy at a bar. Um, I read a lot and listen to non mainstream media. That's great. I re, I think he meant to say, I recently, I, I read, I don't know. It says, I, I've R E A, and I don't know what it says after that. I'm just going to continue. I've made my own judgment about how debilitating. The establishment is toward our country. The news does not tell us what is really going on with our country's finances and foreign affairs. This cycle has been going on for decades, and I don't want to be a part of it. I'm voting for a third-party candidate whose principles I agree with. My friends are telling me that I'm wasting my vote, and I can can afford to do it because I'm privileged, which is why I have the audacity to do something like that. Um. Oh, because they're not white and they need you to vote the way they want you to vote. All right. Aside from that stuff there, I I don't think voting for a third party person that you believe in that is actually an honest person and will hopefully stand up to the banks and the oil companies um, without getting whacked. I don't think that is ever a waste. And I always believe that you're encouraging more people like that to run for office. Um, as far as what your friends are saying, it sounds like they're not white. If they're saying that stuff, I got to be honest, it's, it's the, uh, the guy who's in office right now is making them feel that way, which is what blows my mind about some friends that I have that are voting for Trump. And they're like, I, I, I just don't show me an example of how he's racist is like how they look at it. And it's just like, well, do you have any black friends? <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell. What speeches are you watching? Um, I can just tell you this. My biggest advice that I would give you is just don't tell people who you're voting for. And, you know, if your heart's in the right place and you're voting for what you want to vote for, then there's nothing wrong whoever, with whoever you're voting for. Okay? Straight across the board. Democrat, Republic, Libertarian, third party, whatever the fuck you call it. I don't just... Somewhere along the line, people just started saying who the fuck they were voting for. Liberals. Celebrities. Um <clears throat> You know, I don't know. Let me just continue reading this. Uh, My mother lost her business was and I was in middle school and we had to live with my uncle when the economy crashed and she lost everything. It wasn't her fault. Her landlord went bankrupt and the bank sold the building to an investment group that used a loophole to condemn the building, put her out of business to end her lease and then rented it out at twice the price the following year. Those fucking people are brutal. This has informed a lot of my views and I don't apologize for it despite being told I should. It's really unfair to be talked to like this, especially when the people telling me this have no understanding of things beyond what they read in the headlines on Twitter. 
I know you voted third party in the past. Has anyone in your family or colleagues ever tried to make you feel guilty for your beliefs? Oh, absolutely. I've always been told that I've been, you know, throwing away my vote and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, you are privileged if you're white. It's just a fact. You just are. And just let, I'm just going to tell you my point of view on this. Like, people misconstrue what that means. It's like, oh, you know, we lost a house. We were broke. We went through this. We went through that. My dad died. That's, like, not what that's about. It means you can drive down the street and not have to worry that you're going to get pulled over because of your, the color of your skin and maybe lose your life. It's like that story I told you when my brother-in-law was driving across country and I was talking to him like he was a white guy going, you got to do Route 66 and check out the fucking, you know, the arch in St. Louis. And my wife ripped the phone out of my hand and had literally fear in her voice. And all my brother-in-law was going to do was drive across the country. And she was like, was saying, only... Drive on the highways, only drive during the day, drive the speed limit, because she was worried that he was going to get killed just driving across the country. So that's what they mean. I used to think privilege. I'd be like, what are you talking about? I didn't know. I fucking paid for 90% of my college. I, I fucking worked my way through college. I got in this business. I didn't know anybody. That's not what they're saying. It's, it's how you move through the world. Um, is what it is. It's not your, your, how much money you had or if you went to a private school or not. It just means that you don't have to basically worry that you're going to get killed by your own, your fellow countryman just for fucking how you look. That's what it means. All right, there you go. <clears throat> and I believe defund the police doesn't mean don't fucking pay them or get rid of them as far as I understand it, somebody please give a clear de- uh, definition. What I understand of it is we got to stop dumping all the mistakes of society onto cops and have them deal with the shit every day. Like, why are cops dealing with mentally ill people? They should be in institutions getting cared for instead of having the cops have to deal with that on top of all the other shit they have to fucking deal with. So I think that that's what it meant. And for whatever stupid fucking reason, they said called it defunding, which sounds to me like, hey, pay them less or don't pay them, which is insane. Um, Almost as insane as me tackling these huge topics here. All right. 